Hey Android fans, it's me the Cool Loser, and today's video is going to be something different, not on best apps or games of the week. It's going to be on a custom ROM called My UI. I'm going to start off with the lock screen. And before I really get into it, I'm going to tell you that this is a rooted feature. So if you're rooted, this is the only way you're going to be able to get this custom ROM. Let's jump into the lock screen. This is a one out of like a hundred of themes that you can try and get. We can see we have the phone and then it goes right to the phone. And now we have a text messages, drag it down and we go to the text messages. Now, if I go in the middle, it just goes right to the launcher. Now let's double tap on the timer. Now we got the music player. That's a little secret function. Let's turn it off, turn it back on. Let's tap it again. Look, pops up. Press play. Music player is there. Best of all, turn the phone off and it's playing. I can shake the song. Next song. Shake. That is really cool. I love that little feature that it has in there. And it's not done yet. Let's pause that. Now let's hold on home button. Look at that. We got a flashlight. Now that we covered the lock screen, let's unlock it. Here we are. Notification bar. So let's drag it down. Look at that. Screen filter says right there is on. Notification and toggles. Throw it back up. It's really smooth, guys. The way it just works on my Nexus One. Check it out. I'm going to swipe to the right side. And now I got toggles. Everything that you basically would need to turn on and off. But that's not it. Let's go into the Wi-Fi settings. Hold it down. I go to the Wi-Fi settings just by doing that. That is super handy. Let's bring it back down. Scroll to the other side and hold down on GPS. And we go to the GPS. That works for all of them on here. You don't have to swipe. You can just touch if you want to. Now let me show you the setting layouts. Go to settings. This is the settings. If you're familiar with stock Android settings, I mean, it just looks pretty plain, just black or however it is. It just doesn't look rich or polished. This does. You get a better layout with rich text and tabs. You get the categorized options. Just an overall well-polished eye candy layout. Easy go-to and navigation settings. Like you can go to the sounds and check that out. Call, vibration, look at the toggles that we can just switch on and off with. Uh, it's just so easy to like, Remember where the stuff that you would want to go to. This is all personalizations and here we go the networks and the system stuff that you would want to go through and then we have the programs where we want to mess with stuff like that. Okay, so now let's talk about the launcher. Big icons. That's the first thing you kind of see. You get dedicated big icons. Then you have the dock right here. This is again a theme. This isn't the stock one that comes with when you first launch my UI. And when I first launched this app, I noticed that there was no app drawer. So all the apps are on the screen. It doesn't come with a lot of apps. So you download your own, you know, only the things that you really want. So it comes with a clean, very minimum application. And if you don't like that, you all your apps on the screen, you can put them in folders. Let's drag it to the other side and let's set it inside. There we go. And now we have an extra app in there. Very simple. So you can put as many apps you want in one little folder so that you have no apps sitting outside. And obviously if you hold down on the app, you can, you know, drag it and rearrange it wherever you want to have it. You got your pinch to zoom, you know, and you can rearrange if you want to move this over here, wherever you want to move it, you can do that. Add more windows, delete them. Now let's add some widgets. Hold down, empty spot, and let's add a clock. Hold it down, bring it out, lay it down, and there we go. We can preview it if we like it there or not. If we don't like it, remove it. Now let me put this clock, set it out here. Done. Let's move out. So as you can see, you can preview on the fly where your widgets are going to be laid out. That's what's really good. Now as we know, we can hold down on soft keys and have little other functions. Let's hold down on home. And we will see all our recent applications we've launched. And look at down here. We have an app killer and app manager. Now let's press the search button. We, have, we can search all in inventory. Long search it. You can add little things that what you wanted to do. And if you haven't noticed that the transitions that, you know, when I move through the screens, they actually move around and they have a different look to it. You can change those settings to make it look different. And remember, this theme that I got going on is out of hundreds. There's hundreds that you can choose that make your phone look and feel completely different, like a brand new phone. How to take screenshots on this phone? All I got to do, 
hold down on the volume button and press mini and watch how quick this is going to be. That was taking a screenshot of the picture. That simple, you heard the noise, you saw the flicker, like it took a picture. And how do I see that? Go to your gallery. Here's all my camera stuff and then the screenshots. Click on it and let's click that. And there, this is the picture that I took just right now. There is the other one I took before and here's the guy who actually told me how to do it. The gallery is very basic but it's so quick on loading. Let's click on it. And look at that, it's already kind of there. It's, it's loading time is super fast. Let's click on this. My stuff really dimmed down, but it's very fluid. It's, I mean, it works really great. Like the, the zooming and everything on it. Go to the next page and you will see that it works really good. Also here in the settings, you can actually show or hide albums. I have actually albums that I'm hiding so that people can't see them. You know, they can find them because they're not at password protected, but they're hidden. Let's go into the camera. Here is the camera. You saw it load. It didn't take very long. And as, as you rotate, the screen also knows which way you're going to take. So it orientates. We can see a little button here, which is an auto flash. You can turn it off or on. And here, which is the sounds off. So it won't make a noise when I take a picture. And you see the animation that it took? If I don't want this, just delete it. Let's take a look at the settings. Anti-shake, so you can know, help you not shake the camera so much. There's a video. Let's go into the video. Record. Let's stop it. There's the video. Let's press play. As you can see, the dial is also themed. It's kind of hard to see. Like I said, there's lots of different themes that you can choose. And the, all your recent contacts will be in here. As you start typing in numbers, like 503 is my area code, I will get all the numbers that go in with a sequence. If you're one of those people who dials people numbers instead of just going to their contacts is really good. Here is to go to all your contacts and here is just to, you know, back up. But let's do a call so you can see how this looks. There is this is the look. I'm going to end it. That's the new look what you would see when you call someone. You can actually do swipe gestures that dismiss the calls, which as soon as you dismiss it, it'll have an auto reply that you can allow that say, hey, I'll call you back. And let's check out the contacts. This integrates with Facebook or Google Plus, whatever you, you know, you signed into. So I get to see their Facebook pictures on here. The ones with no pictures aren't with Facebook. So really nice. I mean, you can skip down to whichever area you touch. You can go like this if you want to you could also swipe and you will see that you get these checks these are to be able to delete them or press cancel you know swiping just does a gesture to it you can swipe away swipe on let's take a look at the messaging app i like it i like the way it's laid out with the theme that i chose here let's do a new message like as we're composing as you start typing in someone's name or phone number it'll come up with a whole bunch you can't really see it right now I don't know oh, there's a little bit but those are the recent people that I kind of contact so you can you know go right to them real quickly now let's take a look at how the messaging goes but you can see there's a call button right there you can call directly if you were texting him or didn't want to text anymore and then you can see that there's mine and there's his it looks better off camera and you know type in through here I'm gonna put hey and I'm gonna press enter. It pops up and there's hey and he's already gonna get that message and I'm gonna get a notification that pops up. There's my message. Just pops up right there. He says what? And I can delete the message or discard the message or respond through right here without even having to go inside the messenger app. I'm just gonna put nothing. And then press enter and it's gone, just like that. It's very welcoming text message. I like that. If you had your phone off, your screen will actually turn on and tell you, hey, you got a message up here and you'll have a little icon right here and you can just go right to it by dragging down and it'd be right there. Let's click on this icon. And here we see we can call him, SMS, details, look more stuff into him. And we can see we can email, look at it through the browser, Gtalk, Facebook, or I can blacklist him. If you swipe, you will see that you get little checks here. I can check them. And, and I can check this one. So they're all gonna be on the right side. And you get the remove button. I remove it, remove. Let me hold down on it. And I get little choices here. Attachments, and let's swipe to the other side and we see videos and more stuff. And that's about it for this one. I, I, don't, I don't think I need any separate like hand scent that I've always been using. I'm fine with the, what this comes with. Now let's talk about the battery. Now I'm gonna go back into the settings. 
and go into the battery just to show you system and it's dragged down to battery look how like just easy and good it looks you know that little notification it says 48 percent i don't want that look to it all right let me change it let's do the graphical graphical is just the battery nothing no percentage i don't want that now let's do the top bar now pay attention do you see that now we got a green bar what's the green bar that's the battery percentage here is the stock theme that comes with this here is the one i got online online theme these are themes from online that you can choose remember there's hundreds of themes that you can go through there are different colors different unlock screens here you can see one of the unlock screens that this theme will have you can scroll up and read what's going on more about it you don't have to have an overall theme for everything you can actually separate different themes for those but here is the stock one that comes with it let me apply it and this is how i got welcomed when i first tried it, i was like wow notification bar is see-through and unlock and you can see the icons are different this might look a lot better than what i had before but like i said themes will make it look differently this rom actually eliminated a lot of apps that i used to have now they're all in one app or just already on the operating system that i don't have to have all those other apps dnd &D mode this is a stock feature that comes with it, which actually, if you enable it, it blocks incoming calls, messages, stuff that you don't want to see. Like if you're getting a lot of spam or you get that crazy psycho ex-girlfriend or boyfriend that keeps calling, you can actually block their stuff. Look at the notes. It comes with a little self-note thing here. Here's a little test that I just did. It's just like, you know, a little notepad that you're writing on. Just, you know, text whatever you want from there. And I know many of you guys are going to probably be curious about my keyboard. It's called Swift Key X File Explorer. And here we can see all the stats of SD card, space available, all the little stats going on right here. And we can see what's in music, videos, pics, themes. You can look at it right there yourself. And you can, you know, go through the SD card. What's on your SD card? Now, what's FTP? FTP is a wireless transfer. Like, let's say I want to connect it to my computer. You transfer all my pictures or a whole bunch of videos. Put music on my phone already built in with this file explorer. And you're going to run into more stuff. I might not have covered everything. I'm applying the other theme back. Themes that you can choose from and they're all free. Customize. Here's a little area you would want to come so you can customize only what you want to see. Like the lock screen. If you want the lock screen to be completely different. You can click on it and choose which one out of the lock screen you want. You don't want this lock screen, then choose that one. It'll just do that lock screen for that one. The home, the icons, the status, all the stuff that you want to be different. Those little system tweaks and changes that they added to the ROM that make it look a lot better makes a big difference and it's eye-catching and it's just like really nice to see and we all know android 4.0 ice cream sandwich is coming out so that's going to be a really cool new experience as well and i know cyan and jamal is probably going to jump onto that and i'm going to be getting a new phone which is going to be the samsung galaxy nexus after i retire my nexus one and if you do any modding remember you do it all on your own risk and i'm going to go away with the screenshot right here Please rate my video and give me a thumbs up Comment on my video and tell me what's up Subscribe to my channel, don't forget to spread the word Tell them who's the best, it's the Coop Loser Follow me on Twitter, on Google Plus On Facebook so we can stay in touch